Hello friends, welcome to our new video. I am Vivek and in this video I am going to show you how to display selected product variant images in your Shopify store. So let's get started. To take a brief, let's see how the product variant images are shown currently in the Shopify store. We are like looking into the dawn theme of Shopify and here you can see that this uh, product t-shirt have two variants red and green and currently all of its images are being shown like this if i select the green then the featured image of that particular variant is displayed here but rest of the image are still present on the product page now in this video we will see how we can show only the product variant images which are related to the select variant for example I have selected here the red variant of the product and I want that only the red images of this product is being displayed right now similarly if I select for the green I need that only the green images are being shown here this is my requirement and let's see how we can do it in the dawn theme of Shopify using the custom code so we will be achieving this by using the product variant meta fields in the previous video I have shown you how to create a product variant meta field I'll put the link in the description to you can check out that video and see how we you can create a product variant meta field for this video let's just a quick recap for the same so to make the product variant meta field I went to the settings then to the custom data here I selected the variant and in the variant I previously created the name of images meta field here you can see the namespace and the key of the product variant meta field and it is a type of uh, list of values so I will be storing the name of images in this list of values and let's go to the prod products so let's open a product t-shirt and here you can see that all the image of the product in present and we have two variants with the name of red and green and let's open a variant here at the bottom you can see that the meta field name of images is present and it has all the values I had and I'm using this meta field to save the name of images so this is something that I have shown in previously in the video now let's see how using this name of images meta field in your product variant we will hide all other images and show only the selected product variant images to do that we will have to create a custom code in our Shopify theme so let's go to the online store so we are applying this custom code to the current theme of dawn which is the latest version having the 12.00 so click here on the edit code now go to snippets and here open the product media gallery dot liquid this is the file which is used for loading all the images of the product in your Shopify store when using the dawn theme here you can see there's two sections for showing the image one is to show the featured image and then below that there's a for loop which is showing all the product images so here in the for loop we will be checking the values of the product variant meta field that we created and we will be writing a logic to show only the images which are related to the selected variant so let's do the coding so under the for loop I'll first see if that current media which is the image okay so first 
we will see if this product if we have assigned the product we need meta field to this product or not to do that we will add a simple condition here here we have checked if the value of meta field name of images is being added or not if it is added then we will write our logic so i am pasting here the logical code to hide the images okay so this is the code i have written i have taken a variable to store the name of featured image as well as the current file name also to store the images list of images from the meta field for the product variant now we will go through each of the product variant and we will check if this current image is present for the variant or not if yes we will store all the list of images in this image list variable now if the image item matches the file name then what we will do we will add image list to the current file let me paste the code so here you can see that in the li element we have added we have checked if the name of feature file is present in the image list or not for the variant if it is present then we will display this image otherwise we will hide it as well as we are saving the name of images in this li we will be using it for our further logic in the javascript now going forward uh, in the else condition we will keep the existing logic to work as it is so this will allow us the existing logic to work if someone has not configured the name of images meta field and if you have added the name of images meta field then your logic to show the product variant images will work this is the liquid code that we need to change now let's save this changes and see a front end how it is affected so this is our front end and this is our product in which we added the meta field values now let's open it now as you can see that for the red variant only the images related to the red are being displayed now let me select the green as you can see right now that after changing the liquid it is still not showing the images of the green to do that we will have to add a custom logic in the global.js let's go back to our code editor open the global.js here we will be updating the function where the variant change happens so this is the place where the where the own variant change event happens and here we will be writing our code to change the update the images as soon as user changes the variant so uh, let's create a function with the name filter variant images and we will define this function just below this on variant change function and i am pasting the code here so as per this code 
let's walk you through let me walk you through this code so here first we have checked if the current variant has a featured image or not if it has a featured image then we will be passing out the name of this featured image from the url so here is the logic and from here we get the name of this featured image now we will check if the image elements have this name of featured image in their list or not if they have then it is related to the currently selected variant this is our logic so right now uh, we will check we will get all the image elements that have this data dash image dash name attribute uh, just to uh, recap we have added this data dash image dash name uh, data attribute in our Shopify liquid code let me get back to it so just to remind it here you can see that uh, in the ally uh, element we have added this data dash images that names uh, attribute to store the image list for this particular variant now also also if you see in the front end also this particular data dash name dash images attribute stores list of images we will be using this list of images in our global.js function to execute our logic and hide the other images and only show the product variant images which is currently selected so let's get back to our code editor so this is our code editor and here we are we have uh, gathered all the elements which have this attribute now one by one we are looping through the each of this element and uh, getting the value of this data dash image dash names which is the list of images for the current variant now we will check if this particular image have the name of featured image or not if it has that it then we will show it otherwise we will hide it so let's let's uh, save it and go back to our uh, front end refresh the page so as you can see if we are uh, loading it currently uh, the we have we have selected the red variant and all the images of the red variant is being shown now if we select the green variant then all the images of the green variant is visible so that is how you can use the js code custom js code and shopify liquid code uh, using the product variant meta field to show the images of the selected variant so this is one of the example that we have shown you so how to use the product variant meta field to configure your uh, product page in the coming videos we will show you different uses of the product variant meta fields so stay tuned with us the details about the code used in this video i have uh, given in the description you can check out from there so that's all for the video i hope that you like the video and find it informative if you find it informative kindly give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you have any other query or need more information please feel free to write in comments Again, thank you for watching the video and keep making progress in your Shopify journey. Thank you.